One local woman is talking after getting hit by a car on her bicycle. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Ken Watlington. And I'm Angie Casada. Now, the State Highway Patrol says it happened around 245 Sunday afternoon in Farmville. They say the driver, Tallulah Tillman, hit Lisa Hardy Bras. And if that name sounds familiar, it's because her husband is Stephen Hardy Bras, a local cycling safety advocate. Nine on your side, Sarah Gray Barr spoke with the family after the accident and has more. Lisa Hardy Braz is part of a family of cycling enthusiasts. She's no stranger to riding bikes. She knows the roads of the little town of Farmville well. She knows the rules of the roads in general. Sunday's collision was scary because Lisa did everything a cyclist is supposed to do. Wesley Church Road near Peace Street is where State Highway Patrol reports a car struck Lisa from behind. I just recall a very loud sound. <laughs> And the next thing I was hit. The driver of the car has been charged with failure to reduce speed. Lisa says speed isn't the issue. If I ask you, at what speed would you like to be hit? Five miles, 10 miles, 50 miles? Or not hit at all? You're not going to pick a speed. This has got actually nothing to do with speed in my situation. It's the fact that the driver was inattentive, distracted. According to Walk Bike NC, a bicycle and pedestrian plan adopted by NC DOT, nearly 20 cyclists are killed in collisions each year. Nine on your side also spoke to an attorney with Bike Law NC who says laws could be stronger to protect cyclists. We talk a lot about violence and guns and murders, but and people are killed all the time on the streets, in their cars, walking, on their bikes. Cyclists are recognized as vulnerable road users by state law, but consequences for harming these users aren't strong, she says. If you cause a bicyclist, if you commit an infraction that causes a bicyclist to have to leave their lane, um, then there's an increased fine for that. So you can see that's really not a huge incentive, extra incentive to be careful. Lisa says that's concerning. Had a helmet, was out there when there isn't a lot of traffic, on a clear day, riding single file on the left side of the lane. We need to take responsibility, each and every single one of us. That's the only way our communities are going to function in a safe way. While Lisa's injuries are non-life-threatening, she says she's lucky, and there are many who don't live through these collisions. In the newsroom, Sarah Gray Barr, 9 on your side.